So guys, right, the world's best players, let's look in an easier way, the modern way to move through the golf ball, improving everybody's ball striking. Now, what are we seeing on tour? It's incredible these days, this move. We covered this in a video earlier in the year, and we got hundreds of thousands of views. Shift and lift, guys. Let's have a look at this. The shift and lift, that's what I call it, the shift and lift move, where we're seeing the modern day players shifting forwards with their legs, but the lift move of the lead shoulder, right knee covers the golf ball, but a high left shoulder acting as a wall. So people shift and lift. Let's have a look what the world's best ball strikers are doing. And as I said, regardless of your age, the closer you get to these positions, the better you're gonna hit the golf ball. Now let's have a look at this trail leg from Xander Schaufler here. What a ball striker, British Open champion. This guy is absolutely flushing it. Closing up the gap of the right knee. And look how high he's able to get that lead shoulder. Now I'm not expecting everyone out there to be able to bend their body like that but I am expecting you to be able to shift across and get your left shoulder higher. Now, Adam Scott, what a ball strike, and what a ball strike he's been, closing up the gap of the knees. It's quite remarkable watching these players and how similar they get their bodies into these positions through impact. Right, with a low lead shoulder, we don't get that separation, that shift and lift. And when you're using this move, we've got two moves in two directions at the same time. So we're shifting forwards, 10 to 15 centimeters, the, the tour average here of lateral shift, but the lead shoulder lifting high. Now you're doing the best with what you got, regardless of your age, regardless of your ability, you would agree with me that you can improve your motion. And that's what you gotta do, right? I'm not expecting if you're 70 years old to move like Xander or Scotty Scheffler, but I do expect it to people to improve. We can all improve. And that's the great thing about the game of golf. Now, this is a great drill. What we're gonna do first off, start off, to get a feel for this movement is grip the club in your right hand. Take your address position. Get your hands on the outside of your thighs. Now, I'm gonna move this club to the outside of this lead leg, roundabout, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do at the same time is slide my left hand up over the height of my belt line. I'm gonna close up the gap of my knees. Now, what that does is it gives you a bit of a feeling here of where your body needs to be. Now, if I extend that club down here, what we're gonna have it is about one yard in front of the golf ball here with the gap closing up of your knees. And this is a great little drill just to get a feel. And then you can get pick up your golf club and then hit a shot. Now we've got what we call muscle retention. So when you make a movement or a series of movements here and then you hit a ball within a few seconds, they estimate we have around 60%, 70% feeling left over of that last movement. And just revert back there to really what you were feeling through the golf ball. Nice strike on that one, guys. So I love that drill, that's something that I use, and sometimes even on the golf course, I'll stand there a couple of times in between shots and just feel that, and just stay in positions. You can just stand in the position for a while, this static positional training, helping to fire that nervous system and program these movements so that we don't need to think as much. The next one I love is the opposite, right? Getting your hands on the outside of your left leg here, right there on the outside of your thighs, sliding up the left hand of your belt line and getting the left hand of the left hip and the right hand of the right knee. And it's, it's a difficult one in a way because we've got two movements moving in the opposite directions at the same time. We're shifting forwards, but lifting that lead shoulder. And if you can really get and push off that right foot, close up the gap, relocate as this is lifting, you're gonna get yourself moving through the golf ball with the best bends that you can possibly get for your swing currently. Those two movements are absolutely, those two drills, fantastic to create awareness, capture feel, to practice. Now let's move further on into the video because I've got another couple of drills that are absolutely sensational. Demanding that golf instruction be kept simple, it doesn't make it simple. It just makes it incomplete and ineffective. When we look at the world's best ball strikers, this is what they're doing, right? And it's not complicated. There is technique in the golf swing. It's a technical thing, right? If I draw a line down from these shoulders, have a look at the shoulder plane here, the engine room, the motor, it points a yard outside the golf ball. And on average, right, to be a little bit technical without being mechanical, that number, that average is around 40 degrees. Halfway through the ball, it's 55. Amateurs don't even know anything about this. Right, you've got to get inside the averages of movement because the great ball strikers, this is evidence-based material, evidence-based instruction. This is where they're at, right? And everyone can measure this. 
everyone can get in there themselves. Everyone's got a mobile phone and everyone can measure this. Now, what we've done, the amateurs have no idea about this. They're just miles away and working on different things like the magic elbow move, but never reaching their potential. I mean, 95% of golfers never reach their potential. Now, what we've done, this is a screenshot of my phone. At World Class Golf Instruction, we've designed Swing Slap. Just film your swing, pinch your fingers on the screen, and you can compare yourself the major moves, these key moves, the motor of your swing to the PGA averages of movement. It has instructional videos. It's in the App Store, helping so many people improve faster. Guys, let's get stuck into the rest of this video where we have a look at some great feels and drills to get your shoulders moving closer to what the great players are doing. So guys, right, looking around the corner, looking out the window, what a swing thought this is. What a feel. Now, we need things that are transferable, easy to take out onto the golf course. Now, it was Jack Nicklaus, arguably the best golfer of all time, that said he used five swing thoughts throughout his career. Obviously, not all at once, but at certain times, he would use one swing thought, and it would work for a period of time. He would use another swing thought, and he circled back and used these five swing thoughts. This is an amazing feel, an amazing swing thought, and it's transferable to the round. It's not disruptive. What am I talking about? Well, let's have a look at this. If I was to open up a window, okay, stick my head out the window and look around the corner, this is the visual effect, the thought, the swing thought that I want as you're moving through the golf ball. Now the head, the neck, we've got neck tilt. You can call this angle here the viewing room. You're looking at the ball from this angle. Water dripping out your right ear. It helps us turn with a high left peck. It'll help us hit the ball from the inside. It also helps us hit the ball harder. Now, what do I mean by that? Generally, just about all of us, when we try and hit the ball too hard, the right side gets up. It's like a natural move, a natural mistake, if you will. But when we're turning with looking out the window, this fear with the head on the side, with this neck tilt, this viewing room, it can actually help us move really fast into this position. And this is a great way for so many players to turn through the golf ball. Give it a go. I've helped so many professionals and amateur players with this swing thought moving through, looking out the window. You can use it on the golf course. It's not disruptive. So hi guys, if you like the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It helps us reach more people. Thank you. So guys, one of the great drills here to get the bends of your body, to get your swing moving like a machine. This is awesome. Have a look at this, right? Take your driver and I'll show you how to set it up and you can get some really cool feels here. So get one golf ball. This is the ball we're going to address. Now get the other golf ball about a yard outside the ball. Now your arms aren't up like this. They're not down like this. It's about a 45 degree angle, all right? Now get your palms pointed down. Get your elbows into your side a little bit. And what we're gonna do is get yourself in your address position. Now we're gonna tilt until this club points outside, one yard outside the golf ball. All right, now when you do that, it's such a great way to get your body to tilt correctly. There's a lot more going on in a good swing in the background than what people realize. We're just serving people over this way too much, or they're doing this. You've gotta get the, the combination of tilt and turn needs to be really appropriate here. So this is a good way to feel the back swing. And then you can sort of look down, do them slowly and feel your body turn. Now, when you do it, that right shoulder is going to move behind you. So when you don't see the shoulder, you've turned sufficiently. Okay. Through the golf ball, this is where it gets interesting. And you can see how flexible you are, but the closer you get to it, it's about a half a yard when your arms are about parallel to the ground. So when you move through the golf ball, when we get into here, we're going to get more bend on the side. And this is a really interesting way to feel how you move through the ball. If you keep turning, it's really quite surprising how little strain is on your back. So if you, if you bend simply in this direction, you know, that's no good. But if we turn and tilt, you take a lot of pressure off your back, helps us move through the ball. This is a really free and powerful way to move through the golf ball here. Another great way to do it is just to get really create quite a bit of tilt and really turn through keeping your knees together into a position here where we've got water dripping out the ear. Here's your viewing room. When you actually hit the shot, you're looking at the shot at the ball side on. Great way to plow through a ball and not hit it left. But a couple of interesting areas here, guys, and how to create certain bends and feels when you're practicing so we can improve and maintain our golf as we go. Voted best swing analysis and best online instruction by several independent surveys. 
World-class golf instruction is transforming thousands of golfers at every skill level. Do not miss out. This video platform has over 1,400 videos and 85 separate master class series. The most structured and detailed video platform ever created. Improving golfers on average between 4 and 11 shots. Join the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. This is golf instruction that you've never seen before. The proven PGA corridors, factual evidence-based material. Unleash your true potential with the cutting-edge swing analysis technology. Experience the thrill of progress with the state-of-the-art practice programs and specialized golf fitness plans. Best information available.